feel that safe that everyone is owning a gun? Yes, I mean everyone. It means that ill people, it's prisoners, and people that are not mentally and emotionally stable are going to be able to bear a gun. Yes. Like, there's no restrictions for it. They can just go and buy it and it will be okay. The Second Amendment, it promises that, yes, we all can bear guns. Yeah, the militia and the people and everything, but the Founder Fathers wrote that many years ago. Our society is different now. We need restrictions. We need self-control in some, in some things that we can, like, they can get into a negative circumstance. Um, I have done some research uh, throughout this winter quarter because I had also spoke about this in another class. And I, I am gonna talk about how strict measures can help reduce violence. It doesn't mean that it's gonna end it up because come on, in this world, how can you end violence <laughs> in some sense? But we can prevent it that it increases in our society. Um, today, I would like to share um, what's the problem of not having enough restrictions, uh, what is the negative causes of it, and how can we solve it to reduce it in some sense the violence and the crime. Okay, so there are many, many kinds of guns, and um, we have from like revolvers, pistols, the their rangers, rifles, shotguns, machine guns, etc. We have so many. And um, the thing is that it's, it's okay that we have so many, but the thing is that it's so easy to get them. Like you can go to a gun shop, like you can go to um, a pawn shop as well, and or you can get it from your family, friends, it's so easy to get one. Like, you can just go, oh, okay, I buy it. Yeah, okay, good. I just pay my money. I don't need to know if I have a crime, background, or anything. Okay. Like, why? <laughs> um, according to the Second Amendment, like I said, um, we, the founding father said that, um, uh, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Okay, okay, let's not take it away from the Constitution. It's okay because we need it, it's part of us, okay? But the thing is that, like I said, we need some self-control. If we don't have self-control in anything, it can be social media, it can be anything, like we are gonna, um, in some sense, we're gonna do whatever we want, okay? Um, also, our, like I said, our society is different before America was, like when the founding fathers were writing these uh, rules and, and everything, they were like, our country was, a, is, it was based on a Judeo-Christian ethics. Not right now, like our society is more open-minded in many things. So we can see video games. They're so violent. Like, like kids are like, ah, look at this. Blood. Like what? <laughs> like they're, they, they see like so funny. Like to see people dying. Like they're, they're not they're not as sensitive as before. If you will be like seeing something like that before, people will be like, you know what? Get away. Get away from me. Like you are going to hell or something like that. But now it's like. Um, so now that I have talked about like what are some of what's the problem here of not having restrictions and on getting a gun, I will not discuss about the consequences. It's uh, uh, getting a gun is a very easy um, process, and the thing is that with not enough backgrounds or checks, um, background checks or or like. Um, psychological tests or evaluations like that, um, it can get out of control. Like for example, do you guys recognize this person? Yes, that's Dylan Roof. And he went and, and bought a gun one day 
at, at Charleston, he had previously a record of uh, being uh, arrested for drugs. And, and even though like he went, can I have a gun? Yeah, sure, here it is. He got a gun. They didn't even check him. Like, it was okay, get it. It's money, here, it's business, right? No restrictions, okay. Well, he got the gun, he went to a church, and he killed 10 people. Yeah, so easy, right? Just buy a gun and kill people. And he was mentally ill, obviously immature. And like I said, this can be prevented. Um, also, uh, according to the article, Gun Control Facts by James Agresti, in 2004, the Office of the Inspector General in the U.S. Department of Justice wrote that in, the, in this system, um, many people like, like get, can, can get prohibited of owning a gun when they're like uh, arrested of like, let's say domestic violence. Yeah, okay, that's good. But uh, from someone that kills his spouse um, has the right to still bear a gun. Okay, that doesn't make sense, but still, it's not okay. Here we can see that um, uh, also uh, another problem is that suicides are becoming like more easier to, to like happen because um, in homes where there are uh, guns, it's more likely that people die from suicides than actually from defending themselves. And now, I am going to, now that I have told you about the lack of background checks and how, what are the consequences, now I'm going to tell you about some solutions. What about um, always having a registered gun? Having some psychological tests and evaluations to see if the if the person is in depression or it's crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> we need to know that. Um, uh, and it, it says uh, in Guns Act uh, as a form of multiple engineering everyone um, by James Stanfuller. It says that when an unarmed, unarmed person gets into a fight with another unarmed person, there is a smaller risk of a serious injury. But we need to prevent this. You guys have the decision to know if we are gonna treat the guns as just a toy or we're gonna have a better mentality and restrictions that avoid this crime. Thank you.